few things we're, we're going to do. We only, I'm only going to try to cut these down to 15 minutes. So we're going to, we need three scenes. I'm, I made a blank scene. I'm just going to save this scene as a battle scene. Okay, cool. I'm now going to go over to the build settings. And I'm going to add this over here. I'm going to go to a new scene. We're now in a new scene. I'm going to save this scene. And this one's going to be Final Fantasy. You can name these whatever you want. It's not going to matter. Uh, world scene. And I spelt that wrong, but I don't care. And I'm going to add this one. And the last one, and the most important, is going to be the menu scene. And then I am going to save. No, that's already saved. I need to add that. Now, when you're in this, it's also going to be very important that we put the menu scene above. Just drag it so it's zero. Uh, I'm also just going to put this up here, just uh, personal preference. It doesn't matter, but the menu scene needs to be index zero. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need is a canvas. Just like that. And this canvas is going to do like everything for us. Like everything. This is this thing's our do all end all system. I'm going to change it to scale with screen size because I don't like it when it's not like that. Personally. And then I want to create some sort of background. And I'm going to call this, I'm just going to put a panel there. And I'm going to put it, say, black, full, full opacity. And I'm going to change this over to menu window. And in the menu window, we need three buttons. Uh, you can also use Text Mesh Pro. I'm just going to put normal buttons like that can almost even add a quit button as well but I'm not worried about that and I'm going to change these names so that they match what they're going to be I'm also going to change what's in the text to match what the name or the button is okay so there's our buttons and I changed the text so this is more or less our menu scene now you if you have sprites you can put them in and put whatever images you want here this is just going to be our title scene so that's our menu i'm just going to deactivate it so we can make something else the next thing we want is going to be another panel because we, we're going to use a lot of panels because i like panels they're pretty uh, i'm going to go with my theme of blue because it's very final fantasy ish and this is going to be our <coughs> Uh, we'll call it player uh, player menu. That's probably a good name for it. And it's going to be more of a background. I mean, if you want to put a little bit of transparency to it, you, you could. And really what this thing needs is going to be more panels. So I'm going to put this roughly around half mark. And give it just a little bit, maybe a deeper color. Or maybe a lighter color, I don't know. And then in that, I'm going to give a little text. And we're just going to stuff it over here. Put it somewhere in the middle. And I'm going to call this the inventory. Give it a fancy font. Up its size, change its color. And we also want another one. And it's going to be over on this side. And this is going to be more of our, our gold. All right, so we'll have... I'll just default it to something like that. Really, it's not going to matter, because once the logic kicks in, it'll change it anyways. 
or you can and you can call it whatever you want I'm just calling it gold because it's gold and if you want to add in any kind of extra little panels in here uh, or graphics images you, you can also do that right like if you want some sort of separator here You know, or, or anything you can put little graphics in there Ooh, make sure to put it down there so this is our top bar and title and gold and you can keep this one call it graphics All right, and then the other thing we're going to need in there is another panel, of course. I'm going to bring this guy down, and I'm going to match him up there. It should just snap. Give this an also kind of a deeper look, and this one's going to be our inventory. And in there, we're going to want an empty. And I'm going to put a grid layout group on him. So now, if I, well, let's put inventory holder. So now, if I was to, for example, put in images, uh, my images aren't going to be that big, but right. So there we have something like that. So we want to take our inventory holder, and I'm going to spread them out equal to all that and then I'm gonna take his cell size down to like 35 uh, even 40 give it just a tiny bit of spacing don't need too much right now whatever we put in here you can get just a massive list of things but we don't need anything in there for now And then this area is going to be our character area. So let's build that. So then our next our last little area, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, another panel. So we use a lot of panels. And I'm going to go on this half. And I'm going to take his color. You go a little lighter this time. And this will be our characters. And I'm going to give him also an empty. And we're going to take it and fill up this little area. I'm going to offset it just a little. And then what we need is are some slots. So I'm going to create this guy's. I'm going to use a vertical layout group, similar to the horizontal, slightly different. And I'm going to create another. UI panel and as you see like it's got nothing for width and height that's okay because I want something like we'll see, well, I, it kind of depends how many characters you want really I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with four but you can technically go with more so there would be our four characters and I'm going to alter their colors a bit. I'm going to go solid transparency. I'm going to give them kind of a lighter background. Probably not that light. Something like that. So these are actually our, our slots. So this is slot A and slot B and so forth. So there is now, we have four slots. They're all named. And <coughs> that's kind of how our player menu will look. We can also now add a, yeah, you guessed it, another panel. I'm going to keep the other one activated so I can see where how far this one goes. Because I only want this one to actually be down here. And we can, uh, again, maybe go even darker. Super dark. Not that dark, it's way too dark. 
This one's going to be our save slash load system. And it needs, of course, two buttons. Two buttons, just duplicate them. Now I can adjust them and move them. Let's take one on the left side, one on the right side. So we have this one can now be save and load. Notice we're not putting any logic to any of these things here. This is we're just building the frame, the foundations. There we go. So that's our save and load, and there's our menu window. So if we were to deactivate everything and just have our menu window, it sits there, but these are over top of it, so that it sits there. Alright, so so now one of the other things we're gonna need is essentially a deactivate those is we need a um, a battle HUD. Battle HUD. And this thing needs, yes, panels. More panels. We're building everything with panels. So Battle HUD, let's just stream this guy out. Cover all four corners. And by four corners, only mean two of them. At roughly about a third of the size of the screen. So this panel, I'm going to go with blue because... That's still our theme. It hasn't changed in the last two seconds. And <clears throat> this can more or less be our background. And we would now need another panel. And we're going to stick this one over on this side somewhere. Maybe go a little, a little lighter. And this guy is going to be our, our ATB window. I'm just going to duplicate him actually, and I'm going to drag him over here, stuff it right next to it, and this can be the player's health window. And I'm going to duplicate that again, bring it way over here on this corner now, and this guy can be enemy window there we go so now <coughs> each of those things also need an empty which I'm just gonna drag it like that and this can now be the holder and it needs a vertical layout group like that. So if we were to put a, for example, a slider, and we duplicate it, so we can have up to four, it'll sit somewhere roughly like that. So I want this to not say upper left, let's go upper center. So it sits nice and pretty in there. And delete that, don't need it, come over to the player's health. And this thing also needs, yes, a hole there. And the hole is going to sit there, and it's also going to fill out the same thing. And it's also going to have a vertical layout group, also with upper center. And now if this guy were to have, um, let's say an image, and we duplicate that. That was a horrendous thing. We want width. Can even do height. And that really doesn't show how that would look at all. There we go. That shows a lot better than how that would look when you have four of them in there. Okay. So then there's that. The enemy window, if you can guess it already, it also needs a holder with a vertical layout group also upper center and this can also be called holder and there we go that's kind of how the main portion of the battle HUD is going to work now the other thing we're going to need is I'm going to create an empty actually no you know what? let's create 
let's let's just create a panel I mean they're so useful and I'm gonna take this guy and he's not gonna fit in there he's gonna be a little smaller but he'll be taller I'll just well you can actually put this one anywhere it really doesn't matter but one thing I am gonna do is change his anchor point and everything down there in the corner right so now if you look at him his anchor points in this corner that's if you click on here and hold down shift you can change his anchor point all right it's gonna we want him in this corner all right so that panel is going to be our uh, we'll call it action menu and let's go with our themed beautiful color let's give it a little bit of transparency though and this guy is going to need a UI text and this is going to be a title and he can sit right up near the top uh, position zero and this will be we'll call it actions change the font and maybe up its size change its color stick it in the middle line all this crap up and then the other thing we need is a action list holder action list we'll just call it action list because it's small and easy to say and there we have that so then that will be our action list and it also needs a vertical layout group which is this is this one's actually going to end up using buttons so i'll show you how that kind of looks all right so we'll have four well you might have five who knows uh but we want to control the width and uh, that's probably good just like that that is our battle hud So far, that's kind of how that's looking. The only other thing that we would need is a, a panel. We don't have enough panels. Let's continue making panels. I'm going to put this one up near the top, though. And we are going to go blue, full transparency. We're going to call this one <coughs> um, event events how about that that works give that a text stick that somewhere in the middle stretch it out a bit give it a nice even numbers because we don't like weird crazy stupid ugly numbers doesn't matter what you put into it I'm just doing that so we can see what it looks like color wise and size and there we go and up its size a bit something like that we'll be able to change all this type of stuff later the only other thing this whole system needs now is I'm gonna actually create an empty and this one's gonna be I'm just gonna call this one HUD and I'm gonna take not everything I'm gonna take everything except for the obviously the root stuff it in there take that close that down create three empties and this one can be, I want to call this one menu and battle and location. All three of those will need an audio source. Okay, so there is our foundations. It may not look like much yet, but we have three scenes and we have all of the UI we could ever possibly want even though this one's sitting weird why is this okay whatever we fixed it um and that's all we're really going to cover in this episode the next one we're going to start covering the prefabs and then we're going to start putting in the logic on how to control all this stuff so we'll catch you in the next episode